China's Three Gorges Dam, the biggest, most powerful, most risky. Dislocating over a million people, the world's largest hydropower project holds nearly 42 billion tons of water, creating a shift in mass that is elongating the day by 0.06 microseconds. And trust me, that's just one of the utterly unbelievable features. Dams often attract significant national and international controversies, yet few dams would come as close as China's Three Gorgeous Dam, the world's largest hydropower project. The massive dam has been touted as an accelerator for the Chinese economy as well as an efficient means for flood control and power generation. However, a major highlight of the dam is that it has effectively slowed down the Earth's rotation due to the sheer amount of water it holds. Making the world's largest dam was obviously going to be expensive and, by some accounts, the cost of constructing the Three Gorgeous Dam went up as high as $37 billion. It took nearly two decades to build completely and cost over a million people along the Yangtze River to relocate. Despite China's claims that it has been successful in playing an essential role in intercepting floodwaters, the Three Gorges has been mirrored in controversy largely surrounding the environmental hazards it poses, including water pollution and flood control. Even today, China is grappling with heavy rains and severe floods that further raise questions about the dam's efficiency. Regardless of its controversies, the Three Gorges Dam is an awe-inspiring creation, 181 meters tall and 2.33 kilometers wide across the Yangtze River. According to NASA, the massive dam is even visible to the naked eye from space. Additionally, it has a power-generating capacity of over 22,500 megawatts, three times more than the largest dam in the United States. When plans for the dam's creation opened in 1992, many scientists warned that it could trigger landslides due to increasing pressure on the surrounding island and threaten the biodiversity. And true to that prophecy, it has caused some life-threatening incidents. In 2003, for example, 700 million cubic feet of rock entered the Qinggan River two kilometers away from the Yangtze. The resultant water waves killed 14 people. Despite this, the China Yangtze Three Gorges Development Corporation raised the water level by 445 feet, approximately 135 meters, to 512 feet, about 156 meters, in its reservoir, triggering dozens of landslides. This stems from the dam's reported inability to control large amounts of floodwaters during the rainy season. In 2020, three flood waves hit the Three Gorges Dam, causing it to open its slew ice gates that have reportedly exasperated floods downstream. That aside, Poyang Lank and Jiangxi Province reached its highest level in history, surpassing the levels during the 1998 floods that killed over 3,000 people. Since then, the Yangtze River has grappled with a surge of floods that have killed hundreds and displaced millions in several parts of China, leading to more doubts about the dam's efficiency. Experts say that while it can withstand small floods, it cannot prevent major floods caused by incessant rainfall in the Yangtze. So, the big question is, is the Three Gorges Dam an environmental catastrophe? In the creation of the dam's massive reservoir, over 1.4 million people have been displaced. Their homes have been destroyed and numerous farmlands have been flooded. Moreover, the reservoir has submerged two cities, over 100 towns and 1,600 villages along the Yangtze River banks. China recorded one of the worst floods in 2010, which killed 392 people, all thanks to this project. According to Chinese state media, in 2007, many experts warned about a series of ecological hazards, including landslides and pollution, amounting to an environmental catastrophe. The weight of the water reportedly eroded significant portions of the Yangtze River banks and triggered water waves as high as 50 meters. The dam has placed over two major fault lines and is blamed for a surge of earthquakes in the region. In 2003, a large chunk of a mountain broke away into the river, killing 24 people and destroying hundreds of homes. The dam's safety was further cast in doubt when reports of cracks in its concrete face surfaced, which increased the risk of leaking. Remember that China is home to a large number of flora and fauna species. The construction of this massive dam has threatened the biodiversity of the area by endangering several plant, insect, fish, and animal species by fueling deforestation and pollution. According to some reports, as many as 
57 plant species have been endangered along with 400 others by flooding and reduced water flow. The massive dam has also exasperated the decline of the Baji dolphin, a rare species considered functionally extinct. Chinese state media has reported that the Three Gorges Dam has fueled drought and disease, most notably as the Yangtze River reported its lowest level at 142 years in 2008. Decreased water flow has already affected several households and contaminated fresh water. And even more shockingly, NASA scientists in 2005 calculated that the controversial Chinese dam is responsible for slowing the rotation of the Earth. As you may be aware, there are different factors that affect the Earth's rotation, such as winds, earthquakes, climate change, and even the position of the moon. The dam's reservoir holds a massive 42 billion tons of water, causing the Earth to lose a bit of momentum while rotating. As a result of the shift in mass, the length of a day is elongated by 0.06 microseconds. It is the only dam in the world that has affected the rotation of the Earth so significantly. The Three Gorges Dam makes the Earth only very slightly more round in the middle and flat on the top, according to NASA, and it is not something to celebrate. When the construction began in 1994, it was designed not only to generate electricity to propel China's breakneck economic growth, but also to tame China's longest river, shield millions of people from fatal floods, and, as a symbol of technological prowess, become a searing point of national pride. But clearly, it hasn't quite worked out that way. For a start, the whole project costs 200 billion yuan, approximately $28.6 billion, took nearly two decades to build, and required uprooting more than a million people along the Yangtze River. As we've already discussed. And while the government promised the dam would be able to protect communities around its immediate downstream against a once-in-a-century flood, its efficacy has frequently been questioned and for valid reasons. In a nutshell, more than 158 people have died or gone missing, 3.67 million residents have been displaced, and 54.8 million people have been affected, causing a devastating 144 billion yuan in economic losses, approximately 20.5 billion dollars. Curious to understand how this gigantic project operates? Well, here's how it works. The enormous dam is situated on an upstream section of the Yangtze and helps prevent flooding downstream by trapping rainwater in a huge reservoir and then controlling the release of that water through its slough ice gates. The 660-kilometer reservoir winds upstream through the narrow valleys of the Three Gorges, a series of steep canyons known for their imposing beauty and once treacherous currents. To Chongqing, a sprawling municipality of 30.5 million people in western China. During the dry season, October to May, the reservoir's water level is kept at a maximum of 175 meters, about 574 feet, to optimize electricity generation at the adjoining hydropower plant. Before the summer rains arrive in June, it's gradually lower to 145 meters, about 475 feet, to make room for the incoming floodwaters. The lowering of water levels creates 22 billion cubic meters of storage space, enough to contain nearly 9 million Olympic-sized swimming pools of water. But that's nothing compared with the sheer volume of floodwater that can flow into the dam during bad years. During a once-a-century flood, more than 244 billion cubic meters of water, or about twice the volume of the Dead Sea, can pass through the Three Gorges in two months. Unbelievable, right? How about this? A total of 32 main power generators operates off the dam, which includes 12 sets on the right bank and 14 sets on the left installed in 2006 and 2008, respectively. The generators become operational in October 2008 and generated a a total of 18,300 megawatts. Another six generators were added to the underground power plant of the project. The first three became operational in June 2011. The third generator unit completed a 72-hour test run in July 2011. Then the first underground unit began operations in May 2011, and the second commenced commercial operations in June 2011. In 2012, all 32 hydro units were commissioned to generate a total of 22,000 
1,500 megawatt output. During and after its construction, environmentalist and political opposition to the Three Gorges Dam was intense. The most emotive issue was the forced relocation of 1.27 million people in September 2009. China referred to the detailed plans as improving the lives of those affected, but residents complained about the resettlement funds and job retraining promises being denied. Farmland that will be flooded is more fertile than the higher ground, and approximately 1,600 factories will be submerged sooner or later. The U.S. Export-Import Bank also bowed to the pressure. It hoped to gain further environmental information from the Chinese, which would allow for a favorable decision. It was not against the project. Moreover, its stance did not prevent U.S. groups from bidding for contracts nor U.S. commercial banks from financing their operations. But European governments snubbed Three Gorges opponents. The export credit agencies of Germany, Switzerland, Sweden, France, and the UK all promised support for potential suppliers from their countries. Japan, after initial hesitation, followed their lead. Canada also offered financing to its companies. Long-term commercial loans by banks in these countries supported the credits. So, all in all, this project is as massive as it is controversial. And so does it have its benefits as well as its demerits. But here's the question, will it stand the test of time? All we can do is wait and see. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thanks for watching.